We will look at a problem on binomial expansion from the IB Matt SL paper, May 2015. It's paper 2, and it's from time zone 2. This is question number 4. So I've written the question down here, and the question reads, the third term in the expansion of x plus k to the power 8 is 63x to the power 6. Find the possible values of k. This is one of the simpler types of the type of questions you can get on binomial, binomial expansion in an IB SL paper. So let's attempt to solve this question today. Let's write down the expansion you know, of, the, of the form x plus a to the power n in binomial fashion. So x plus a to the power n is given by n choose r, right? Sigma or summation r equals 0 to n x to the power n minus r a to the power r. So you can see it's pretty straightforward. You have term 1, term 2, and the power to which the binomial you know, addition is being, add, is being raised to. You have a combination here, n, combination r, and then you sum up all the terms of the form x to the power n minus r a power r. Now just very quickly, let's understand this one aspect which is important to getting the right value of r to work with. So when you talk about the first term, what's the value of r? r, as you can see, starts with 0. So r will be 0. In that case, the second term will have a value of r as 1. The third term will have a value of r 2. The fourth term will have an r value of r 3. And so on for the term and for r. Now in this problem, it asks you to find um, you know, the third term which means that r for the third term will be 2. So let's use the binomial expansion with r equals 2 and n equals 8, because that's the power, and see what we have. So we have, we have the third term of x plus k to the power 8 being 8 choose 2, and it's a summation, but we're taking just one of those terms now, which is the third term, x to the power 8 minus 2, and k to the power 2. But the problem tells us that this is equal to 63 x to the power 6. So let's expand this out now. 8 combination 2 can be found out from your calculator. And the value of this happens to be 28. So 28 x to the power 6 k squared is equal to 63 x to the power 6. Now we go on to solving for k. Divide both sides by x to the power 6, since there's an equal term on both sides, and it's multiplied. So they cancel out, giving you k is equal to 63 by 28 under the square root. Use a graphing calculator to find the answer to this, and your answer will be 1.5. But do remember that whenever you have a root that is an even number, like the square root, or the fourth root, or the sixth root, and so on, then both plus 1.5 could be the answer, as also minus 1.5. So in this case, the possible values of k are plus or minus 1.5.